Welcome back to Reading Through the Bible. We are on 1 Corinthians 15 right now. I started on chapter 10. I'll work my way back to the beginning, 1 through 9, so that it's a full book, and I'll put it on a playlist. But till then, if you want to continue reading along with me, awesome. I also post vlogs and kingdom conversations I have with other brothers and sisters in Christ. Right now, I only have sisters in Christ, but God willing, I will have a brother in Christ on one of my videos. That'd be great. Um... But yeah, my channel is all about sharing the word of God and planting seeds, watering seeds, just through his good word. <laughs> and yeah, let's get started on 1 Corinthians 15, the resurrection of Christ. Let me remind you, dear brothers and sisters, of the good news I preached to you before. You welcomed it then, and you still stand firm in it. It is the good news that saves you from Continue to believe the message I told you. Unless, of course, you believe something that was never true in the first place. I passed on to you what was important and what had also been passed on to me. Christ died for our sins, just as it says in scripture. He was buried. He was raised from the dead. On the third day, just as scripture said, he was seen by Peter, and then by the twelve after that. He was seen by 500 of his followers. At one time, most of whom are still alive, through some have, though some have died. Then he was seen by James, and later by all the apostles. Last of all, as though I had been born at the wrong time, I also saw him. For I am the least of all the apostles. In fact, I'm not even worthy to be called an apostle after the way I persecuted God's church. But whatever I am now, it is all because God poured out his special favor on me, and not without results. For I have worked harder than any of the other apostles, yet it is not I, but God who is working through me by his grace. So it makes no difference whether I preach or they preach. For we all preach the same message you have already believed. The Resurrection of the Dead But tell me this, since we preach that Christ rose from the dead, why are some of you saying that there will be no resurrection of the dead? For if there is no resurrection of the dead, then Christ has not been raised either. And if Christ has not been raised, then all our preaching is useless, and your faith is useless. And we apostles would all be lying about God, for we have said that God raised Christ from the grave. But that can't be true if there is no resurrection of the dead. And if there is no resurrection of the dead, then Christ has not been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, then your faith is useless, and you are still guilty of your own sins. In that case, all who have died believing in Christ are lost. And if our hope in Christ is only for this life, we are more to be pitied than anyone in the world. But in fact, Christ has been raised from the dead. He is the first of the great harvest of all who have died. So you see, just as death came into the world through a man, now the resurrection from the dead has begun through another man. Just as everyone dies because we all belong to Adam, everyone who belongs to Christ will be given new life. But there is an order to this resurrection. Christ was raised as the first of the harvest. Then all who belong to Christ will be raised when he comes back. After the end will come, when he will turn the kingdom over to God the Father, having destroyed every ruler and authority and power. For Christ must reign until he humbles all his enemies beneath his feet. And the last enemy to be destroyed is death. For the scriptures say, God has put all things under his authority. Of course, when it says all things are under his authority, that does not include God himself, who gave Christ his authority. Then, when all things are under his authority, the Son will put himself under God's authority, so that God, who gave his Son authority over all things, will be utterly supreme over everything everywhere. If the dead will not be raised, what point is there in people being baptized for those who are dead? <laughs> Why do it 
unless the dead will someday rise again. And why should we ourselves risk our lives hour by hour? For I swear, dear brothers and sisters, that I face death daily. This is as certain as my pride in what Christ Jesus, our Lord, has done in you. And what value was there in fighting wild beasts? Those people of Ephesus. If there was no resurrection from the dead, and if there's no resurrection, let's feast and drink for tomorrow we die. Don't be fooled by those who say such things for bad company corrupts good character. Think carefully about what is right and stop sinning. For to your shame, I say that some of you don't know God at all. The Resurrection Body But some may ask, How will the dead be raised? What kind of bodies will they have? (laughs) What a foolish question. When you put a seed into the ground, it does not grow into a plant unless it dies first. And what you put in the ground is not the plant that will grow, but only a bare seed of wheat or whatever you are planting. Then God gives it the new body he wants it to have. A different plant grows from each kind of seed. Similarly, there are different kinds of flesh, one kind for humans, another for animals, another for birds, another for fish. There are also bodies in heaven and bodies on earth. The glory of heavenly bodies is different from the glory of earthly bodies. The sun has one kind of glory, while the moon and stars each have another kind. And even the stars differ from each other in their glory. It is the same way with the resurrection of the dead. Our earthly bodies are planted in the ground when we die, but they will be raised to live forever. Our bodies are buried in brokenness, but they will be raised in glory. They are buried in weakness, but they will be raised in strength. They are buried as natural human bodies, but they will be raised as spiritual bodies. For just as there are natural bodies, they're also spiritual bodies. The scripture tell us the first man, Adam, became a living person. But the last Adam, that is Christ, is a life-giving spirit. What comes first is a natural body, then the spiritual body comes later. Adam, the first man, was made from dust of the earth, while Christ, the second man, came from heaven. Earthly people are like the earthly man, and heavenly people are like the heavenly man. Just as we now like the earthly man, will someday be like the heavenly man. What I'm saying, dear brothers and sisters, is that our physical bodies cannot inherit the kingdom of God. These dying bodies cannot inherit what will last forever. But let me reveal to you a wonderful secret. We will not die, but we will be transformed. It will happen in a moment, in a blink of an eye. When the last trumpet is blown, for when the trumpet sounds, those who have died will be raised to live forever. And we who are living will also be transformed, for our dying bodies must be transformed into bodies that will never die. Our mortal bodies must be transformed into immortal bodies. Then, when our dying bodies have been transformed into bodies that will never die, this scripture will be fulfilled. Death is is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is your victory? O death, where is your sting? For sin is the sting that results in death, and the law gives sin its power. But thank God, he gives us victory over sin and death through our Lord Jesus Christ. So my dear brothers and sisters, be be strong and immovable. Always work enthusiastically for the Lord. For you know that nothing you do for the Lord is ever useless. That was so good. Praise be to God. That was so good. Thank you guys for reading yet another chapter of 1 Corinthians with me. I'm going to read chapter 16 later on. I mean, soon-ish. I don't know. I'm just pre-recording these ahead of time. Anyways, be on the lookout for vlogs videos uh me more <laughs> reading some more i don't know my brain's getting all jumbled up but that was so good i i'm gonna go back and reread it over and over again it's so good god bless you guys love you guys 
See you later. <laughs>